Lady Susan. Lady Susan is a short epistolary novel by Jane Austen, possibly written in 1794, but not published until 1871. This early complete work, which the author never submitted for publication, describes the schemes of the title character. Main characters Lady Susan Vernon is the main character is aged about 35 or 36 years old. She is the daughter of an earl. She is a widow of just a few months, who is known to flagrantly manipulate and seduce single and married men alike, as she has been left in a financially precarious state due to the death of her first husband. She uses flirtation and seduction to gain her objectives and maintain a semblance of her former opulent lifestyle. As a widow and a mother, her main goals are to quickly marry off her daughter Frederica, of whom she is contemptuous, regarding her as stupid and stubborn, to a wealthy man, and to marry an even better match herself. Frederica Vernon is the daughter of Lady Susan, oppressed by her mother. Frederica is very shy, and it is only over time that the reader can perceive that rather than being stupid and stubborn, she is a sweet, sensible girl whose kind nature continually is at odds with Lady Susan's venal selfishness. Frederica is not as beautiful as her mother, but has a mild, delicate prettiness which, together with her evident ability to feel gratitude, endears her to the Vernons. Catherine Vernon is the sister-in-law to Lady Susan. Lady Susan easily perceives how much Mrs. Vernon dislikes her, but allows that she is well-bred, and has the air of a woman of fashion. She feels far more affection and concern for Frederica than Lady Susan does, and often laments Lady Susan's great neglect of her daughter. Charles Vernon is the brother-in-law to Lady Susan, an amenable man who allows her to stay at his home. Reginald de Courcy is the brother of Mrs. Vernon. He is handsome, kind, warm, and open, but rather gullible. Mrs. Vernon writes in a letter to their mother. Oh, Reginald, how is your judgment enslaved? Lady de Courcy is confidant and mother of Mrs. Vernon. Lady de Courcy trusts her daughter's judgment, and is concerned that Reginald not be taken in by Lady Susan. Alicia Johnson is the intimate friend to whom Lady Susan confides all her true scheming. Mrs. Johnson has an immoral mindset similar to that of her friend, stuck in a marriage with a sensible man, whom she does not love, whom Lady Susan derisively describes as just old enough to be formal, ungovernable and to have the gout, too old to be agreeable and too young to die. She delights in hearing of and making suggestions for Lady Susan's manipulative plans. Synopsis of the novel Lady Susan Vernon, a beautiful and charming recent widow, visits her brother and sister-in-law, Charles and Catherine Vernon, with little advance notice at Churchill, their country residence. Catherine is far from pleased, as Lady Susan had tried to prevent her marriage to Charles and her unwanted guest, has been described to her as the most accomplished coquette in England. Among Lady Susan's conquests is the married Mr. Manwaring, Catherine's brother. Reginald arrives a week later, and despite Catherine's strong warnings about Lady Susan's character, soon falls under her spell. Lady Susan toys with the younger man's affections for her own amusement and later because she perceives it makes her sister-in-law uneasy. Her confidant, Mrs. Johnson, to whom she writes frequently, recommends she marry the very eligible Reginald. But Lady Susan considers him to be greatly inferior to Manwaring. Frederica, Lady Susan's sixteen-year-old daughter, tries to run away from school, when she learns of her mother's plan to marry her off to a wealthy but insipid young man she loathes. She also becomes a guest at Churchill. Catherine comes to like her, her character is totally unlike her mother's, and as time goes by, detects 
Frederica's growing attachment to the oblivious Reginald. Later, Sir James Martin, Frederica's unwanted suitor, shows up uninvited, much to her distress and her mother's vexation. When Frederica begs Reginald for support, out of desperation, having been forbidden by Lady Susan to turn to Charles and Catherine, this causes a temporary breach between Reginald and Lady Susan. But the latter soon repairs the rupture. Lady Susan decides to return to London and marry her daughter off to Sir James. Reginald follows, still bewitched by her charms and intent on marrying her. But he encounters Mrs. Manwaring at the home of Mr. Johnson and finally learns Lady Susan's true character. Lady Susan ends up marrying Sir James herself and allows Frederica to reside with Charles and Catherine at Churchill, where Reginald de Courcy could be talked, flattered, and finessed into an affection for her. End of the analysis. Thank you.